All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be fixing my windshield. I got hit by a rock a while back, and I just haven't got around to it. So, I went ahead and I picked up the Rain-X windshield repair kit. And we're gonna go ahead and fix the windshield. Uh, it does say repair it as quickly as possible, but this has been there for over a year, and I just really don't want it to split. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix it now, but for best results, it does say to do it right away. That way you don't get dirt and dust inside the crack. So let's see how much that affects it. It does say it can do up to a 12 inch crack. This one's probably about an inch of a uh, star. So let me go ahead and show you what that crack is looking like. So if you can see it, it's right there. Not the biggest crack in the world, but it is right in the driver's side. So if it splits at all, we are going to have to get a whole new windshield. We won't be able to fix a crack. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. Uh, Seems pretty simple from everything I've read online to do it. Uh, inside the kit, there's like an injector, there's the resin, and then there's these plastic films that we put over top of it. So let's go ahead and open up this kit and I'll show you what's inside. So these are the plastic films. Uh, everybody tells you to make sure you're careful when you open it. Sometimes they fall inside the pamphlet so you don't see them, but just make sure these don't fall on the ground because you don't want dirt or dust getting on these. And then we've got our injector for the uh, chips and stuff that we are gonna need. That way we can get the product pushed right into that chip. And then lastly, the repair resin. So that's what we're actually gonna use to seal up that crack. And uh, a lot of places say it actually makes it stronger than the original glass. So that'd be kind of interesting to see if that's actually true or if it's just kind of out there. But. Oh, and a razor blade wrapped up so you don't cut yourself. We are going to be doing the chips, bullseyes, and stars instructions because I don't really have that long of a crack. I might just try to quickly tap in that crack line once it's done, but if you have a crack, just follow the instructions on the back. Seems pretty straightforward. So first things first, it says to wipe off the space with a clean rag. Uh, earlier today, I wiped it off with a wet rag, let it dry, so it's already pretty clean. And then next, we're going to take this thing, and it says to center the ring over the impact point. All right, let's show you what that looks like. So uh, as you can see, we go right over top of it. You can see the bullseye is right underneath it. So next step is gonna be step number two, screw the resin chamber. So this will be the resin chamber. All right, so really complicated, confusing instructions. Basically all you gotta do is take this, screw it in until this resin mouth here, it's like a, a little silicon seal on it, is directly into the center of it. And it says it helps to go inside the car and make sure you line it up perfectly. Um, it does say that we don't want to push too hard. So I just went ahead, did it until it touched, and then went probably another half turn after that to make sure it's in complete curvature. And it says put three to six drops of repair resin, depending on the extent of the damage, into the resin chamber mounted on the windshield. Pick that up later. Two, three, four, five, six. And it said check the side, make sure nothing is dripping out. I don't see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid back on. All right, All right and then screw this guy in. And we want to check the inside of the car, make sure it's nice and wide open. Alright, sorry for the shaky camera, not the easiest spot to get a good video of this from, so I'm going to apologize in advance for that. But as you can see, you can actually see the resin starting to come down into these cracks and filament where they're not as visible. So that's what we want to see. It's only been about a minute. Alright, and now we're going to wait four to six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and I'll come back in four minutes. 
All right, guys, we waited. Uh, it's been like five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next step. And the next step is holding this uh, bottom piece here. We're gonna un remove this. So untwist this guy. Pull it out and then push it right back in. And that's gonna release any air bubbles that we got in there. And whenever I did that, I did see some resin start to syrup out. I'll show you that on the side here in just a second. But when that happens, it said just to take this bottom piece and rotate it clockwise or to the right uh, a little bit to get that seal a little bit tighter. Because you're pushing that resin in, so if there's any gaps in the glass and the uh, silicon seal at the bottom, it's gonna leak out and we don't want that. So I went ahead and I fixed that. All right, so now that that's taken care of, uh, we need to check it from the inside of the glass again to make sure we've got everything taken care of. And if all the lines are kind of starting to disappear on it, then we know we've done enough. We can remove the apparatus and then we can do the next step. But first we need to check it from the inside of the glass. All right, so we've done that now. And uh, re reading step five, what we need to do is we keep doing steps four and five, which is adding the resin, twisting it in, and then waiting 45 minutes, pulling out the plunger and then putting it back in to get rid of air bubbles. Uh, we can add more resin if we need it, if that chamber is empty, but we don't want to see when you're uh, with this type of crack or bullseye, you want to look from the back and see if there's any green or black crack lines. And if that's the case, you know you need to put a little bit more resin into that hole. So uh, based on that information, I know I need to go in a little bit more. There's just like a couple little spider lines that are going out that are still greenish black. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop this guy out one more time in four minutes, and then I'm gonna plunge it back in. So I'll check back with you guys when I do that. All right guys, it's been that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. So it says take this top one, quarter turn counterclockwise, this guy quarter turn counterclockwise. And you're gonna wanna take it off pretty quick because you're gonna get that leak. So flip it upside down. And then any of this, just gonna wipe up. And then to remove this, there's little tabs on the feet. So you just wanna pull that up, don't rip it off. You just kinda of work your way around. Uh, wish I would have known about the tabs before I put it on, cause I could have definitely rearranged it a little bit better. So with that, this guy's done. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the crack. So cracks are a lot easier. All you gotta do is put this slowly into the crack and let it seep in and work its way in. So, it's a lot easier. And then, of course, it's gonna drip a little bit on a windshield, so just wipe it off with your dry rag. Uh, we can get it all off later. I will say this, that the uh, injector piece really did a good job of filling in the cracks. It's really just the ones that were at the very ends, kind of the cracks that progressed after it got hit. So I think if I would have done this right away, I would have got better results, but I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. I just looked at it from inside. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on these strips. And all they say is press it on and just take your finger and wipe it either direction to get all the air bubbles out. So that seems pretty simple. All right, so that is super simple. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention when we we're starting this is uh, you have to do this in the shade. This resin is UV cured, which means that the sunlight will start curing it. So if you did it out in the sun, it would not work. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start up the car, I'm gonna move it out into the sunlight. I was lucky enough, garage was in the shade still, so, and I could back the car back far enough that it didn't get enough UV light to mess this up. But uh, they give you a ton of these uh, plastic films, so I really do believe that you could do a crack longer than 12 inches. I think they just say that for their testing purposes, they went up to 12 inches, but I think you could definitely do a crack longer than 12 inches. Like they gave you these strips and they're really long. So I think you could definitely make a crack longer than 12 inches work. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these off to the side over here. Uh, again, because this is UV curable, I don't wanna leave any of this stuff out in the sun. So I wanna move everything off the car. That way we don't have any issues if I have to do a second coat.
So there's the crack. You can definitely tell it's filled in a lot better than what it was before. All right, so it says typically when you use a razor blade, you go like this, but they tell you to put it 90 degrees to the window and just scrape. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, you can definitely feel like where it still needs it based on how this drags. But as you can see, there's still a little bit of a divot there. So I need to put a little bit more on it. So I'm gonna go get the resin really quick and another strip and I'll be right back. All right, that looks a lot better. There's still a little blemish right here. So what they said to do in the instruction is to take the resin bottle while it's still in the sunlight, put a drop right in there. And then we're gonna put the uh, plastic curing strip over it and then scrape over it with the razor blade and that will take care of this issue. So there's that and then grabbing the razor blade out of my pocket. And then what we're going to want to do is... And what that's going to do is it's going to push the resin into the crevice. But nowhere else. So we want to make sure we get it as slow and tight as possible. And that should do it. So another 10 minutes and then we'll be back. All right guys, so that's been another 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this guy off. Uh, again, make sure it's dry underneath. That guy's definitely dry. Uh, this time we're not gonna be as aggressive with the razor blade. We don't wanna go over top of the center of that. We just wanna go around the sides. Oh, there you go. You can't even see it really, that mark anymore. So that's good. Uh, when you've rubbed your finger over it, it's perfectly smooth where before there's a chunk of glass missing. So of course that's not gonna be like a perfectly see-through area. But when you look in there, you don't really see the spider crack like you used to. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down really quick, get off some of this white uh, resin, and I'm gonna move it back into the garage and give you guys a final look at that crack. So a lot better than what it was. Zoom in on that guy there. You know, of course you're gonna see any cracks that were there and are filled in with the resin, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was. And I really like how it turned out. Let's get a look from the outside. I mean, a punk quick glance, it's really hard to see it, but it's right there. So I mean, yeah, if you focus in on it, you'll definitely see it. But if that can stop it from spreading across the windshield, definitely well worth it. All right, guys, so that was the rain -X repair kit. Uh, everything included uh, didn't need anything other than what was included in the kit, which is really awesome. A lot of kits like don't give you screwdrivers or anything like that anymore, but this gave you everything you needed to repair pretty much any type of crack on a windshield. Uh, I'm really impressed with how it turned out and the amount of product they put in there. Like I was messing around with the resin bottle 
and I barely use anything of this resin bottle. So I think you could do a lot of repair work. So if you have that many cracks, like you probably should get a new windshield. So I think, you know, one kit per car, if it's, if you need to go over one kit, then you probably should have just replaced your windshield at that point. But I think if you can get to it quick enough, this is definitely a great option to save you some money. Uh, all in all, this was $9.99 on Amazon, free delivery. So at that point, you know, 10 bucks to fix a windshield plus an hour of my time. Really, you can't beat that. You go to a repair shop, they're gonna nickel and dime you. Uh, you go through your insurance, your insurance is gonna go up. So really, this is a great alternative for, especially in an area where there's a lot of construction. Uh, around my house right now, all the highways are getting redone. So I've definitely seen a lot more rocks getting kicked up on the windshield. So I would hate to replace my windshield and then have another rock hit it. So if you know that you're gonna get a lot of rocks thrown on your windshield, this is a great alternative to replacing your entire windshield and then wait for it to get to the point that you need to replace it and then replace it at that point. But like I said, 10 bucks, I could probably do the same repair 10 more times with the amount of product that's left in this as well as those plastic pieces. For the majority of that hour, I was just sitting in a chair, you know, reading a book because it's just waiting for the product to set up and the product to cure. So really super simple, an hour of your time and you can fix your windshield and save yourself hundreds. But this was the Rain-X Repair Kit with the Rain-X Repair Resin. I, it was so easy. The instructions were easy. Everything was in that kit. I didn't have to like have an app out. Love it. Recommend it. But until next time, thanks for watching. This is DIY Simplified.